Welcome Cancer. Here is your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of April the 19th to the 25th, 2021. Starting off with your all over energy card, you have been given purification. This is from my personal deck uh, that I am now having processed soon called Divine Guidance. So I thought I would add them this week and let you guys have a quick peek at what they're going to be like. I did not do the graphics on them. I have a friend who is a wonderful artist in her own right and they're very simple. Purification this week is all about stepping up and doing what's right for you. It's time for you now, my beautiful Cancers, to do whatever it is that's going to bring you into your all over state of well-being. Whether it's time for you to change your eating habits, whether it's time for you to get more exercise in your regime, whether it's time for you to remove any toxic and negative energy around you. And that could be in the form of people, the circle that you hang out with. Uh, it could be similar things to that. But it's about stepping up and washing your hands clean of anything that isn't serving you anymore. So think about this that this week, my beautiful Cancers. What is it that you need to let go of? What is it you need to remove and release? Your next card you got is the victim consciousness. So this is about not allowing yourself this week to be the victim, to bring that energy into you. Again, getting rid of what no longer serves you. And that includes your mindset. How you think about things? How are you thinking about yourself? Are you getting yourself into that state of, you know, dreariness and, and boredom and the, you know, walking into the shadow part of your life? Don't allow yourself to do that this week. Uh, you know, look at the whole situation um, and don't make yourself the victim, even if you feel you are the victim or even if you are the victim. But when we take on that persona, when we take on that energy, it's a burden and we carry that burden with us. So let it go. Uh, look at the whole picture in complete clarity. Uh, you know, walk away from it. Don't allow yourself, you know, to step up into that that energy this week. Now, you could be tapping into source. Uh, this is all about stepping up and realizing that there is this, you know, you're stepping up into your higher self, leaning into your faith right now, surrendering any fear of power, uh, any fear uh, that overcomes you and stepping up into the power of stepping into, you know, yourself, stepping into your faith beliefs, stepping into the source that you lean into uh, and knowing that things can shift and believing that actual miracles can happen. So life isn't always happiness and joy and experiencing sadness and sorrow is part of life, right? But we can have faith. We can have faith and we can step up into the power and realize that, you know, if you surrender your heart 100% to pure light consciousness, that anything can happen. So embrace that. Uh, you know, let go of those feelings. And often that's when we lean into source, when we're feeling victimized, when we're feeling down, when we realize we need to change things in our life for the better. Getting rid of, as I said, what no longer serves us. So I think some of you are going to be doing that this week because you also have got the recovery recovery card. And this is getting, you have the key to recovery here. Okay. And again, leaning into the light source, leaning into your divine, leaning into your angels, leaning into your whatever a faith source that you lean into. Uh, I think you're going to be recovering. I think you're going to be recovering spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and possibly physically this this week, realizing that you need to step up and do what's right for you, Cancer. Okay, do what's going to bring you to your peace, bring and bring you to that that uh, that level of recovery and healing. And I started right off with this purification card here, that all over energy, leaning into your faith, doing more. You know, maybe you're going to be doing more meditation and to manifest what it is you want. Maybe some of you are leaning into your prayer uh, and your faith uh, and your strength there. But don't allow yourself to be caught up as the victim here. Okay, that's the main thing that I, I have to say this week. Don't allow yourself, <coughs> excuse me, to get caught up in that feeling of victim, being victimized uh, because you're stronger than that. You have that ability to step up and know what's right for you, my beautiful Cancers. And most of you do that. You're very nurturing to your families, to other people, to your friends. You're faithful and loyal and you do all these things for other people. And you need to do this for you. Don't neglect yourself here, beautiful Cancers. Now, 
your crowning energy this week is the page of swords so you know what it's interesting because it comes in below the aha moment which is the ace of swords and this is telling me that you're going to be hearing some news this week and it's going to be news that's going to come in uh possibly it could have to do with the legal issue but it could have to do with you know a bit of gossip or it could be some some uh you know information that comes in that kind of makes you stop in your tracks and you don't like who you heard it from and you don't like how it came to you but it is usually to do with a truthfulness and that is what's going to free you because I'm telling you coming in above that you did have the ace of swords and that is your aha moment that is when you see true clarity that is when the truth steps forward and the truth is always going to free you I'm telling you cancers you've got some amazing positive cards in this reading it couldn't get any better for you and I'm reading this I'm reading this from the center uh, from the now position rather than going over behind and coming in towards you as I normally do because this has got me very excited the moon the moon is Pisces but the moon is knowing that this information is going to be coming forward that's going to free you that's going to make you want to celebrate you know what I mean look at the celebration here the Sun the ten of Pentacles the Midas touch absolutely amazing amazing cards here so I truly do believe that you're going to see information coming in the moon is about you know tapping into your instincts and your intuition and and trusting it and leaning into that uh, and and getting that information those secrets are going to be revealed those the, the truth is going to come forward here this week and that's what's going to bring on this beautiful beautiful escalation of change in luck now the four of pentacles comes in the extremes in which you you spend your money you save your money and you use your energy I think for some of you that if you're out there looking for a job uh, you've applied for certain things you've applied for things that you know that what you want and what you've been used to but I think this is saying that you need to keep your options open your eyes open for different types of doors to open uh, you know right now you might be at a point where if you take a new job that isn't what you're used to you could like it you'd be surprised or it could be a stepping stone for greater things or it could be a temporary stepping stone until that perfect job that you want shows up so it's about keeping your options open keeping your eyes open <clears throat> and not digging your heels in and saying well I'm going to wait or I'm going to do this or or I you know it's not what I normally would want keep your options open because it's so important that you do that because they're always learning experiences and curves that come into our lives those changes that are divinely orchestrated uh, and, and present themselves on our path and they're meant for you to take a look at so keep your options open you could be concerned about money this week be careful of uh, how you're spending your money uh, this week be you know be mindful of that because I think things could be a bit tight for some of you at this time um, and your energy um, you know you may have been giving 150% of your time to everybody else slow down my beautiful friends because you may come to exhaust yourself or resent all that you've done or you know regret that you you put so much of your time out there and you didn't take time for yourself so you're kind and you're giving and I think it's great but you may find you're going to have a setback that's going to recover re require recovery on your part so pace yourself if you're out there give 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 giving and being a people pleaser okay now coming in below that as I said you know you can't get much better than that you've got the four of wands which is celebration and you've got the three of cups both of these cards represent reason to be happy reason to want to get together and celebrate occasions maybe it's with your family or your friends or your co-workers whatever it is you're going to have reason to step up and say oh thank goodness I now can celebrate and have some fun and enjoy life again and there could be a reason to celebrate you know maybe somebody uh, is getting married maybe there's going to be a partnership maybe you're getting a job that you've been applying for uh, maybe something's gonna you know something that you've been struggling with is going to end in a new beginning is going to present itself so it's a beautiful beautiful representation of reasons for you to celebrate something coming in now coming towards you you have the ten of pentacles and the ten of pentacles is about celebration happiness fulfillment peacement a harmony peacefulness and it could be in your home life your family life maybe you're getting together and celebrating with your family some beautiful occasion um, I know some of you cancers your children have bought a first-time home and you're working on it and helping them and you know who you are uh, and this is beautiful but it's also you finding peace and harmony within your own circle within your own you know 
pod within your own life, your happiness, your partnership, uh, your children, your marriages, and all of that. But the pentacles often refer to uh, the material part as well. And I think you're going to find that you're going to have uh, enough. You're going to have stability in your finances as well coming in towards you. The sun, best card in the whole deck. Can't get much better than that. You're starting to see the light, light at the end of the tunnel, that, that breath of relief, uh, being able to make long-term plans. You know, look at her. She's reaching for the heavens and, you know, she's doing the victory dance. She's happy and she's elated and she's pretty much saying, thank you, universe. Thank you, divine. Thank you, you know, to every, all the source coming into her. And this is what you're going to be feeling. The sun says, you know what, after every storm, we know eventually that, that, that the sun's going to shine again and you're going to be seeing that soon, my beautiful cancers. The Midas touch, king, look at this. Yeah, you're not going to have to worry. You know, there's going to be opportunities and offers coming down the pike, coming down your path. And I want you to step up and be bold and be optimistic and, and be, uh, you know, have confidence and move forward towards these new goals. Some of you could be dealing with money corporations, banks, uh, you know, lending institutions. Uh, you could be dealing with your accountant or your bookkeeper or your financial advisor. But I do see that you're not going to have to worry about money. I mean, look at him. He sits there. He holds his cash. He's as calm as can be with his dog and he's just, he's in, he's, he's a happy camper here because he knows no matter what he puts his hands to, it, it turns to gold. So things are going to start to materialize here for you for a happier outcome here. This is amazing. Just don't allow yourself to get up in your head. Okay. Don't allow yourself to, to feel victimized in a situation. I think, you know, you're leaning into the power of prayer and source and the divine and you're going to see the universe shower you with reason to celebrate this week. This is amazing. I'm telling you, so far, Cancer, you've got the best reading uh, of all the signs this week. Now, let's clarify some of this here. You've got the Eight of Swords on top of the Page of Swords. So, you know, I think you may have felt that you were trapped in a situation and you couldn't go forward and things weren't moving very quickly and you were stuck and stagnant and stale and, and felt as though you were, you know, almost in limbo like the hangman. But this is getting up in your head. This is you allowing yourself to play the victim here and feel these feelings, okay? So I'm going to correlate these two cards here. But in reality, look, those swords are not in front of her. She's allowed herself to believe and get up in her head that she can't move forward. But I'm telling you something, the truth is going to come out here and it's going to allow you to finally see that whole picture that you need to see so you don't have this trepidation you don't have this anxiety you don't have this fear four of pentacles what have we got here we have the four of pentacles again i love this <laughs> so there you go keep an open mind okay look and be open to differences to changes that maybe you hadn't anticipated or planned to go through okay so this i do think has to do with job and career all right. So keep your mind open for change coming into you and, and take it, step up and take those offers here because the, the, you know, the Midas touch says you can't go wrong. And our celebration card, of course, nine of cups, make a wish, wishes fulfilled. Absolutely. And our three of cups, you've got the queen of pentacles. Maybe you're celebrating the birth of a child, or maybe somebody's going to tell you that in your family, that they're going to be having a baby or adopting a child. But this could also be celebration of something that has happened in your life so that now you can move forward and give birth to your dreams. Planting your seeds. This is like mother earth. And the ace of swords, you've got the 10 of pentacles right beside the 10 of pentacles. So the truth is what's going to free you. You're seeing your life in clarity now. And now you're going to be able to move forward and have this fulfillment in both the emotional and the material part of your life. Wow. And our moon. Let's see what we have. The lovers. Okay. So this is a beautiful, excuse me while I close my door. I don't want any outside noise here. Okay, so the lover shows up as partnership. So you could be getting together. There could be a commitment. You could be moving in with your uh, your significant other. Uh, you know your partner in in you know in romance. Uh, this could be someone coming in new uh, to uh, to to bring you love and attention and affection. Or this could be a long-standing relationship that involves 
major life-changing decisions that you're going to be making that is determined around this individual. So um, I think you're, you're, you know, you may have got up in your head, maybe some of you were worried about this relationship, but when the lover shows up, it's major life-changing decisions you're going to be making determined around another person you care about on an emotional level. Let's see what we have here for our Ten of Pentacles. We have the Four of, or pardon me, the Six of cups and this is you know possibly connecting with somebody at a distance or someone you haven't seen in a while now it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be your ex everybody all you know jumps to that conclusion no it could be a friend that you knew in high school when you were a kid uh, it could be a co-worker that you had worked for in the past that you're reconnecting with or you could be dealing with people from a distance I mean we do everything virtually now we can travel and go anywhere we want in the world and you know I mean I do read all over the world everywhere you know South Korea you know Australia New Zealand I mean I could go on and on but you may be doing the same thing and maybe it has to do with reconnecting with someone at a distance like that but it could also be you connecting with children because there's children here there's that youthful happy situation here maybe like I said there could be a child coming into the fold or you're just entertaining and being brought into their circle and surrounding yourself with the joy and love of children I think also some of you need to tap into that energy let go and be happy and have that joyful feeling of how we see the world through the eyes of the innocence and merriment and wonder of a child. Have some fun because I think you're going to have reason to. I mean, you've got all these cards coming in here that's bringing you joy like this sun card. So, you know, don't lock horns with yourself. This is uh, the two of swords. You could be at a crossroads with a decision that you're trying to make or you could, be lock could have locked horns with another individual, some of you. It could also be a legal situation where you're dealing with the courts and, you know, neither one of you can make a decision to sign those contracts and papers of, of settlement um, and for others you could just be you know challenging yourself and at a crossroads to make a decision do I do this or do I do that don't worry you're gonna make the right one okay king of pentacles our Midas touch king you have the ten of swords worries over okay you felt as though you were stuck, you were tied down, you couldn't move, you'd been betrayed, stabbed in the heart, whatever. Whatever the situation for each individual cancer it is. Uh, I mean, just look at the picture, right? Uh, now that's over. When the 10 shows up, it means completion. You don't have to worry anymore. You can stop worrying. Okay, things are coming up roses now. You're going to be able to make the right choices and decisions to move forward with confidence. You're going to be stable in your finances here. You're going to be able to see that magic starting to come out now. Wow. I mean, I'm telling you, Cancer, you can't go wrong. The only negative card I have here that I want to talk about is the victim uh, victim card. Step up and know that you need to do the things that are going to benefit you. Okay? Whatever it is, your self-care, your nurturing that you're doing for yourself, Cancer. You give, give, give to everybody else. And now it's time for you to do something for you. Okay. This is your reading for this week. And it's phenomenal. Always know that the universe is not happening to you. The universe is reacting to you. And also, you know, I leave this with you every week. The universe and the divine, your higher power, want you to succeed, want you to find your happiness and peace. So surrender to it, okay? And move forward towards your goals and your happiness. And always know, uh, always know that I stand in this circle of love and lo love and harmony and you know this is a circle of love that you know I always stand in and let's all play safe be safe and stay safe and we'll see each other soon mm -hmm.